Kristen Ruby is back, who is our social media expert from Ruby Media Group. Thanks for being here, Kristen. Thanks for having me, Ernie. This is a great subject. Uh, you know, the word uh, emoji, Japanese, which means picture. And uh, we have a lot of pictures and we have a lot of symbols to choose from, don't we? We have so many. In fact, we have thousands to choose from. Mm. And so right now, I mean, are we talking about bitmojis, emojis, kimojis? Which wow. one? What's the difference? <laughs> well, yeah. kimojis are actually Kim Kardashian's line of emojis. Okay. And then you have regular Apple-based emojis. And right. then you have bitmojis, mm -hmm. which are actually your face and your custom emoji. I got to get one of those. You do. We need to <laughs> set you so. up with one. You can change the outfits. They're yeah. really fun. It's amazing what can be done. Why are they so popular? They're so popular because they help people in terms of textual, you know, base communication. Mm. They help you really understand the nonverbal cues and pick up on what is tr someone trying to really say here. So it can really make a difference in terms of the tone of the conversation. It can go either way, though, right? You were telling me you have to be very careful with the symbols that you use. Some of them could be very, you know, both ways. Absolutely. So on the pro side, it can elicit warm and fuzzy responses. Right, but right. on the con side, right. I mean, all of these are really symbols. And so what mm -hmm. people don't understand is that there's a double base meaning to each of them. So let's say, for example, the peach emoji. Okay. That could be misconstrued as something else or, mm -hmm. or a body part. So, so you really have to know these symbols, right? You have to not yeah. only know the symbols, but also know who you're sending the symbols to and right. understand if they know. Mm -hmm. Now, let me ask you, what about casual versus uh, business texting, you know, that kind of uh, conversation? This is a really interesting question, Ernie, because it really depends who your target demo is, right? So okay. if your boss mm -hmm. is a baby boomer right. and they may not use this technology, okay. you need to understand that and be sensitive to that, as opposed to if your boss is really more of a millennial Got who it. lives in sleeps emoji. Uh, it, it, it can sway, you know, your, your relationship in some way. Absolutely. So actually, Match.com had conducted a study which said that those um, daters that used emojis were 50% right. more likely to be asked out on a date. Wow. Yeah. So it could actually go both ways. You know, maybe I should take that advice. Oh, why? <laughs> well, because, you know, I can shoot off rapid fire text, right. and sometimes that doesn't come across that great. But if I use some emojis to soften it up, mm. I may get a different make reaction. A difference. Maybe you will. So, in a nutshell, you recap what are we supposed to be looking for? What you want to look for here is one, does the person you're sending an emoji to understand the mm -hmm. hidden meaning? Two, you want to use it to soften up your relationships if yep. it makes sense and three integrated into social media over 50 percent of comments on instagram are all from emojis it can help your social media marketing okay and help me out with my bitmoji too all right i will we'll we're gonna make it that. we're gonna do it christian ruby thanks for joining us tonight <laughs> thanks for having all me. right coming up next